God, who do you want to fight? I want to fight Slim the Hitman. What is up everybody, welcome back to Mega Shadow. So it's been quite a while since I've done this series. Today, we're back with another episode of what's now known as the Chronicles of Influencer Boxing. If you're new to this series, I basically go over different YouTube boxing careers and their journeys that got them to where they are today in the space. I did a video on Deji's boxing career over a year ago, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below or there should be a car up there somewhere. In this video, I want to talk about someone else in the space. A man that was an underdog from the early days of YouTube boxing and now has proved himself to be one of the GOATs. He's arguably right now one of the best pound for pound fighters in the scene. And we are of course talking about Slim, the hitman, Albaher. Slim is one of the top dogs in influencer boxing alongside people like KSI, Jake Paul and many others. Slim has had an amazing run having 7 wins, 0 losses, most being knockouts and TKOs. He recently came off an impressive win against Saul Poppy on the Misfits Prime Card event and became the new Misfits Middleweight Champion. People started to see Slim in a new light, especially after that performance he put on. Throughout his boxing journey, Slim has always been the underdog with his fights from his first to his most recent. Slim has shown to prove people wrong and shows how much power he has just by knocking down most of his opponents or just overall dominating the fight and getting the win. As of the recording of this video, he has the most wins in influencer boxing alongside Jake Paul and to an extent KSI. And he is of course right now undefeated and has the most wins out of any other influencer. In this video, I want to go over Slim's complete boxing career and go over all his fights and most importantly his journey on how he got to where he is today. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn, grab those hot diggity dogs, or if you don't like hot dogs, eat something else I guess, but... Screw you. And enjoy this episode of the Chronicles of Influencer Boxing. This is the story of Slim, the Hitman, Albert. 2019 was an interesting year for the YouTube boxing scene. Of course, it had been over a year since the first KSI vs. Logan Paul fight that took place in Manchester Arena. That event was one of the biggest events in internet history at the time, also having Jake Paul fight KSI's brother Deji as the co-main on that card. However, most people at the time were pretty much looking more forward to the rematch between KSI vs Logan Paul since the last fight ended in a majority draw. While negotiations for a potential rematch were being talked about, there would be another match taking place a few months before. YouTuber FoozyTube was planning to make his boxing debut and make a name for himself in the scene. Fuzi would call out YouTuber Slim Albaher for a boxing match. This fight would get in talks of happening. People believe Fuzi would easily beat Slim just off the look of their physiques. Slim was just seen as a skinny, lanky guy, while Swoosey was this more muscular and looked way more fit. But of course, we would later learn muscles don't really win fights. This whole event would take place about a month and a half before the KSI vs Logan rematch, so this was one of the first YouTube boxing events to happen since that KSI vs Logan Paul 1 event in 2018, over a year and a half later. Fuzi and Slim of course had their back and forths, they had press conferences, weigh-ins and such. But in hindsight, it also seemed like these two had genuine beef and dislikes towards each other. I think their fight was more talked about at the time rather than the main event which Adam Sala was headlining. Guess that just goes to show how big Fuzi's name was at the time. A month prior to the event, Fuzi would have a sparring session with YouTuber Alex Wasabi and ended up knocking him down cold. But again, Fuzi wasn't all that great technically and just won by the, the advantage of him being a lot more heavier than Alex. But either way, this spar was meant to hype up Fuzi's next fight as it would be talked about by people like KSI, Deji, The Pauls, and so on. People were truly convinced Fuzi could easily beat Slim, but also some people did realize that Fuzi didn't really have the best technique and skill. With Slim, he was the underdog going into this fight. People had zero faith in him to beat Fuzi, as no one really saw what he was really capable of. I mean, he released some training footage here and there, but people still believed Fuzi would destroy him. The fight between Slim and Fuzi eventually went on. However, things didn't go quite as expected. Fuzi, of course, was the favorite to win this fight. However, during the fight, Fuzi was literally fighting with no technique and only focused on being more aggressive. He was very stiff and of course it didn't do well for him as he was starting to gas out eventually. What's worse was Fuzi had zero defense and Slim was just punching him through that entire fight. This caused Fuzi's nose to bleed severely and Fuzi ended up breaking his nose after the fight. 
The fight went on for four rounds and Fuzi was just taking constant punishment from Slim. Apparently his team didn't throw in the towel earlier which was I thought was kind of dumb. Slim was basically dog walking him the entire fight. Slim actually had decent technique for a beginner in this fight, using his range really well and being able to land more punches. But I mean people still discredited him just for the sole fact that Fuzi was just being a punching bag. But looking back Slim actually didn't look that bad in this fight. But Fuzi still fought on and wanted to get the win no matter what, even if it meant him breaking his nose. But with the way the fight was going, Fuzi was gushing so much blood and it would have been safer to just stop the fight there. Eventually in the 4th round, the towel finally gets thrown in and Slim is declared the winner. This was a very big moment for Slim, being doubted and beating someone everyone thought he was going to lose to because of the physical appearances, but again, muscles don't always win fights so. Shortly after the fight, Fuzi and Slim eventually gave each other respect and just squashed their beef. After the fight, Slim would then want to call out and fight some of the biggest names in the scene like Anisan Gibb, Deji, or even Jake Paul at the time. However, people didn't really give Slim the credit he deserved, saying that Slim beat a punching bag, Slim cannot fight against someone that's not Fuzi, you, you get the point. At the time, Slim was just chasing for a fight no matter what and wanted to prove himself to all the haters and show what he's truly worth. But the real question lies, could these potential fights ever happen for Slim? After beating Fuzi, Slim was hungry for a fight and wanted to fight anyone to prove himself. When the first Social Gloves card was announced in early 2021, Slim was willing to jump on that card and was willing to fight Taylor Holder as no one else was brave enough to fight him at the time. However, as we know, Nissan Gibb took the spot instead due to him being more relevant than Slim at the time. Slim was still kind of a small name and more people I guess wanted to see Gibb fight more. Despite not being on this card, Slim was still willing to fight anyone and truly prove himself. It eventually was announced that there was going to be a boxing event in Dubai happening in July of that year headlined by Money Kicks vs Anis titled Social Knockout. Slim was willing to jump on the undercard and face NNA Productions. This event took place at the Coca Cola Arena of course and features some other small influencers on the undercard. Slim and NNA were going back and forth from press conferences, weigh ins, you name it. Slim and NNA had their beef to promote their fight. Of course, it's been two years since Slim was in the ring and he wanted to prove himself by fighting whoever. Eventually, once the fight happened, it was finally time for Slim to prove what he's really worth. The fight didn't really go for that long. Slim fought NNA Productions and was able to knock him down in the first round due to more, his more experience. NNA didn't really look all that great and Slim was able to show his ability by having one of the most early knockdowns in the influencer boxing scene at the time. However, Slim still showed respect to NNA and they eventually squashed their beef and became friends afterwards. However, Slim was still hungry to prove himself even more. Another event was scheduled for later that year, Social Knockout 2 taking place in October. This time Slim was facing a tougher opponent, supposedly Abidhan, who got a win on the last event. This event was again headlined with money kicks, but he was facing someone else, and Slim vs Abidhan was of course on the undercard. These two didn't really have that much back and forth compared to Slim and NNA, or even Slim and Fuzi. I couldn't really find any serious clips of them having any beef, so we'll just say they, it, this was a friendly competition type fight I guess. So the fight begins with these two. The fight went all the rounds until Slim knocked out Abidhan in the third and final round. Slim of course got another victory and another KO in the same year. However, a lot of people didn't really see these events as this was at the time known as the dirty side of YouTube boxing, so people didn't really know what Slim's actual ability was. Slim of course showed respect afterward to Abidhan. During the post fight interview, Slim officially calls out FaZe Temper to fight and claimed that he would also knock him out too. This is one guy that's been chatting a lot of shit man, and I'm gonna call him out, he's a big dude, he got muscles, and just cause you got muscles don't mean you can box, and I'm gonna prove that really really soon. So face temperature, face temper. Where you wet, boy? You wanna get slept next? I'm gonna show you, son. He also calls out a Nissan Gib as well as they've been wanting to fight for years. Yeah, a Nissan Gib, what's up, baby? A Nissan Gib, what's up? Come step in the ring with me, bro. I dare you. I dare you. It'll be 30 seconds. Instead of 40 seconds, it'll be 30 seconds. I dare you. So now Slim getting two knockouts in the same year. How will he be able to elevate himself in the scene more? Slim won his last fight against Abidan and after his fight, one of the people he called out was Face Temper. However, Temper has stated he wanted to get into the YouTube boxing scene. Eventually it would be announced that Temper would be fighting on the Showstar boxing event in early 2022 against YouTuber King Kenny. Before the Showstar event, Slim was willing to fight either King Kenny or Temper on Social Knockout in Dubai. 
But because of the reputation Social Knockout had due to them supposedly rigging their fights, both Kenny and Tepper declined the offer. Again, being the quote-unquote dirty side of YouTube boxing. Instead, both Temper and Kenny ended up fighting each other on the, on the Showstar event in March 2022 in the co-main event. Their fight was the co-main to Deji vs Alex Wasabi and was one of the more hyped up fights. Their fight went the distance well with at first it was announced King Kenny won by split decision. But of course, Temper got robbed so it eventually got overturned and Temper got the win instead. Later that year when Misfits 01 was announced, Temper was set to be facing Blueface as the co-main event to KSI vs Alex Wasabi. However, two weeks before the scheduled bout, Blueface got into some controversy because he assaulted his girlfriend. Obviously, DAZN didn't want backlash for keeping Blueface on the card so they just simply removed him. This caused Slim wanting to step in on two weeks notice to fight Face Temper and finally get the opportunity. Even a lot of fans online were pushing for Slim to be the replacement fighter and eventually their dreams came true. Slim replaced Blueface and got that co-main event spot against, of course, Temper. However, at the time, Temper was the most favorite to win in this fight, as a lot of people didn't really see Slim as that great of a boxer because of, you know, his reputation, I guess. Prior to this, he beat FouseyTube as well as participating in two social knockout events, which apparently, again, is the dirty side of YouTube boxing. Slim, as always, still had faith in himself to get the win and get the knockout even on two weeks' notice. He knew there were some holes in Temper's game plan, and he definitely capitalized on them on fight night. Now this was the moment that would turn Slim's whole life around. The fight eventually began. Slim walked out to a thousand miles by Vanessa Carlton, which was one of the best, best walkouts that night. And it's also a very smart song choice I would say. He was very calm, composed, and feeded off the UK crowd energy. Eventually the fight began. Slim and Temper were going at it for the first two rounds. Then out of nowhere in the second round, Slim gets Temper on the ropes and knocks him out cold. This surprised a lot of people as everyone was underestimating Slim prior. Slim was granted the ICB light heavyweight belt and was officially solidified as one of the top influencer boxers. But what was more impressive about that performance was that he stepped in on two weeks notice and still was able to knock out Temper who is like one of the toughest opponents in the scene. He eventually became not only one of the top influencer boxers but one of the main faces of Misfits boxing in general. Since this event, he then went on to face formal rival Ryan Taylor on Misfits 02 to get his revenge for what Ryan did to his eye prior to their originally scheduled fight on Kingpin. Now let's backtrack a little, before Slim fought on Misfits, he was scheduled to fight on this other event run by Kingpin in July of 2022. However, the fight got cancelled because Slim and Ryan got into a fight at a hotel and Ryan Taylor injured Slim's eye which of course caused their fight to get cancelled. Both were taken off the event. Now, they were set to face each other on the second Misfits boxing event in October 2022. This fight was the co-main event for the J-Swingers vs. Churdley fights and would have more hype surrounding it. Since Slim's impressive knockout against Face Temper, people were speculating this to be easy work for Slim. Ryan Taylor was the underdog and still had a bad rep on him due to him headbutting DK Money on the Showstar event earlier that same year and of course assaulting Slim at the hotel. These two had a lot of back and forths and this fight was a lot more personal for Slim. Then eventually the fight begins. This time it was a bit different as the fight went all the rounds and the results were taken to the judges. Slim was able to knock down Ryan Taylor in the second round but Ryan got back up and the fight ended up going all rounds mainly due to the weight differences as Slim was fighting at 170 and Ryan supposedly blew up to 190 pounds after the weigh in. Slim still won by unanimous decision and both Ryan Taylor and Slim squashed their beef afterward. Despite everything, Ryan gained a lot of respect for going all the rounds with Slim, and even though he couldn't get that infamous knockout, Slim was still respected for giving Ryan a bloody face and showing heart throughout the entire fight. Then Slim went on to fight Tom Zanetti on Misfits 04, co-main of course as always. The main event to this was of course KSI vs I mean Face Temper who was Slim's previous opponent actually, which is kind of funny. With Slim and Tom, both these guys didn't really have personal beef compared to his beef with Ryan Taylor. This was more of a challenge for Slim as this was a naturally bigger guy and a way better boxer than Ryan Taylor. This fight ended up going all the rounds with Slim winning again by unanimous decision. However, Tom put up a good fight and both these guys showed skill and heart throughout this whole fight. Slim was still holding his ICB light heavyweight belt and of course his Misfits belt and still remained one of the top dogs in this influencer boxing scene. At this point, Slim has had three fights in the span of six months. Unfortunately, not many were really impressed with the performance against Tom Zanetti. After that fight, people started underestimating Slim saying that he's overrated and not that great of a boxer as we thought. 
Eventually, Slim would take a little break from boxing for a while to improve his skills, and of course wanted to prove all the haters wrong. In July 2023, KSI vs Tommy Fury was announced as we know, and would be the biggest Misfits card to date having a stacked undercard compared to the previous Misfits cards. Logan Paul vs Dylan Danis was set to be the co-main of that event, and many other fights were to be announced later on. One fight people really wanted to see on this card was Slim vs Saul Poppy, as these two were the top dogs within the scene at the time. At this point, Slim has not been boxing since the January card, and people were still underrating Slim's ability. Also, Saul Poppy coming off a loss against Anthony Taylor in Misfits 07, and he wanted to redeem himself by fighting a guy like Slim to pr really prove his worth. The fight was voted by the Misfits Small Council to happen, so it was a no-brainer that if Slim fought on this card, it would be against Saul Poppy. However, there were some negotiation problems behind the scenes, and I think Slim asked for more money to fight which caused a lot of rumors that Slim was ducking and all. So it looked like the fight wasn't going to be happening at all, and they were trying to find Saul Poppy a new opponent. However, the script would be flipped. Misfits 09 would be taking place in September 2023, a few weeks before the Prime card. During the event, it was exclusively announced that Saul Poppy would be fighting well. I wanna fight Slim, the hitman. Slim would finally accept to fight Saul Poppy on the Prime card. They signed a supposedly prop contract in front of the arena and officially agreed to the fight. This blew the internet by storm considering it seemed like Slim didn't want the fight f at first, but I guess here we are. Slim and Saul didn't really have that much like personal beef towards each other. This was more of a competitive bout to see who the better man is. Saul Poppy was able to get to Slim's weight class 160, which is Slim's natural weight class. And Slim would also cut back down to that weight since he was fighting at light heavyweight prior. Also, Slim has been training with Andre Rozier, who is considered one of the best coaches in the sport of boxing. He would sharpen Slim's skills and make him a better boxer technically, especially going against a much more technical boxer in Saul Poppy. Again, Slim and Saul didn't have really that much hatred towards each other. This was purely friendly competition just to see who's truly the big bad wolf in the scene. The fight between Slim and Saul Poppy begins. The fight went on for 4 rounds and Saul was honestly not doing that bad. Arguably he was winning most of the fight until he got a little too careless. Slim was looking a lot better composing himself and not making the same mistakes he did in his previous fights. Out of nowhere in the 4th round, Slim catches Saul Poppy with a vicious right hand which causes Saul Poppy to land on his back, knocked out cold. Eventually the fight would get stopped as Slim would now be picking up the pace and finishing up Saul Poppy and of course winning the fight. Slim would now be the official Misfits middleweight champion and once again proved all the haters wrong. This was definitely the best fight of the Prime card in my opinion. After the fight, Slim would get caught up by Jarvis who I guess lost a game and wanted to fight Slim and take the belt. Yeah, this was kind of weird considering Jarvis lost, like, prior, but whatever, I digress. But either way, Slim is now 7-0, still undefeated, and is still one of the top dogs within the scene. Now with all this hype behind Slim's name, where exactly can the Hitman go from here? Slim has had one of the best and most inspiring careers within the influencer boxing space. He's definitely proved everyone wrong since the first Fousey fight and keeps continuing to push the boundaries by knocking down and beating all of his opponents. However, it is not completely over for the Hitman. Slim has a lot of great options for future opponents to further his career, especially in that mi middleweight category. However, there is one person that is the best opponent for Slim right now and the biggest money fight, arguably. And you all know who I'm talking about. And Nissan Gibb. I need some Gibb. A lot of people are wanting a Slim vs. Nissan Gibb fight sometime down the line. Considering Gibb's last performances, beating Austin McBroom twice, then beating Jarvis on the Kingpin semifinals. Ever since his loss to Jake Paul, Gibb has been on a rampage and been on this crazy winning streak ever since that loss. Redeeming himself against Taylor Holder on the first social gloves, beating Austin McBroom twice, and then Jarvis, so it only makes sense for Gibb to fight the Hitman. Especially because these two have had beef and back and forth these last couple of years. So this fight definitely makes the most sense, especially with them both now being in the top fives. But apparently it seems like Gibb doesn't want the fight right now and has allegedly retired from influencer boxing as told by his strength and conditioning coach, Leon Wills. Because of this, recently Slim has even pushed for a KSI fight through tweets, confronting KSI in person, and so on. But honestly, I don't really see this fight happening as JJ and his manager have bigger plans for his career. And I guess after fighting Tommy, fighting Slim would do nothing for JJ. But I do see how Slim deserves this fight. He currently has the most wins and is undefeated in this space. If Slim can't get a Gibb fight since he's supposedly retired, the KSI fight is the next big option and makes the most sense. 
However, from KSI's perspective, fighting Slim doesn't do much for him and would rather fight a bigger name that's outside of the whole Misfits influencer community. But either way, never say never to that fight. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But yeah, this was Slim's entire boxing career. One of the best in the scene right now, and I can't wait to see what he does next. If he fights KSI, Gibb, or even goes to Jake Paul route and fights some UFC fighters. We'll just see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you like this series and if you want me to do more in the comments below. And let me know what other influencers you want to see in future episodes. I'll probably put a poll in my community tab or my Twitter of potential people I do a video on next, so be sure to stick around. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified, of course, for brand new content. I got a lot of big plans for this year, so be sure to stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Thanks for all the support, and I am Mega Shadow, signing out. Peace.